Hello everybody and welcome to Tom's Tips and today we're going to have another tip in the A Picture Paints A Thousand Words series where people write in to me and want to know something and I do a video and try and explain furthermore about it in simple terms. We don't want complications, we don't want drawn out paragraphs and paragraphs, we just want to get down to it, show you what it is and hopefully it helps you. So this one today is from Jason, otherwise known uh, from the site as Rocketman. And he asked a few weeks ago if I could do something on electronics showing basics of uh, fault finding. And um, the story is he was going to buy this tester of some, some uh, a fluke tester. Now fluke testers are very good testers and if you're an electrician it's well worth the money. But for us um, dabblers, there were a lot of money, and I told them about this one that was on eBay for 4 99 which is super cheap. But when it came, it was very disappointing because it doesn't do 240 and DC. It said on the advert DC and AC, and also circuit testing. Well, this won't do any of those, it'll do AC only. But nevertheless, I wrote to them and told them that I wasn't satisfied with it, so they said, well, keep it because the postage, it must be three quid to post it, you know, and it's, I'll only get one ninety nine back. So they said keep it. So I said, right, I will. So now I'll show you some, uh, what you can do with it. It's all. Let's get into the death chamber and try it out. Right, well I'm calling this the death chamber because it could well be. Never, ever, ever play with 240 volts if you don't know what you're doing. Anybody will tell you that because it's deadly. So I'm plugging this in now. That's 240 volts now in there. This is your live wire. This is your earth wire and this is your neutral wire. Now to find out which is live, which is, is it live? We can use this tester to do that. Now the black probe, you can put that to the earth or you can put it to the neutral. Because what it's doing, this needs 240 volts to work the lights. Nothing will work, the electricity can't work stuff until it can got a loop. So this will provide it with a loop to light them lights up. Now I'll do that now just to explain you. See those little lights, they've lit up. Right, so that's telling me there's 240 there. Now I can use the earth, and I'm going to use the earth, I'll show you why in a minute. I'll use the earth. We'll see it better that way, won't you? That, so that's telling me 240 volts there. Now on the neutral, there won't be any volts. The only it won't be any volts because, like I said earlier, for electricity to work anything, it's got to have a path. It's got to have a path back. Now if you give that electricity the path through your body, it'll take it because it'll go straight down to earth and blow you up at the same time. So it's got to have a path to work. And that's this is why we can test. Now, once we know that test is working, and we know that if we've got that, that loop, that's showing us that it's got plenty live wire there, it's showing us 220 to 230 volts, that's enough to kill you. So don't play too much. But what this tells us is, if you went to a pump, for instance, and you put that probe on the neutral, or the earth, and that to there, and that lit up, that would tell you that there's power going to that pump. If it's an immersion eater, that tells you that there's power going to that immersion eater. Or it could be a boiler fan, there's power going to it. So if it's still So then, if we know there's power going to that pump, or that immersion eater, or that fan, and it's not running, then it's got to be that component part. There's, there's something wrong with that. So. If there is, if there's no power going to that component part, no power going to the pump, then we look at something else. We look at what, what path the power is taking. Is it the thermostat? Is it the board? Is it pump? Is it um, is the power delivered from the boiler? So we've just got to look at something else then. But that's your first test. If you think something's not working, you want to test it. Check that power is there, and if the power is there and it's not working, then it's the part. So, there we are, that's just a quick, simple way of showing you how to use a tester. This is a cheap tester, 
this cost me nothing but if you paid for it um, you pay $4.99 a fiver and that's all it's worth for you right I hope that's made things simplified a bit I think and uh, we'll see you again in the picture paints a thousand words series of tips